you not allowed? Strange. You can always tell the character of someone by how quick their heart beats when they hear me. I can smell their blood boil. I can hear the breath draw from their lips quicken. And I can feel your heart beating faster. But no, no. Your heart is not beating fast at all. Are you not frightened? Do you have any idea where you are? I can see by your garb you are a warrior. A knight, perhaps. Armor. And a weapon. Or several. But why are you not drawing your weapon, dear knight? Why have you not declared why you're here? Or how you would like my head, or hide, or treasure to move? There isn't much here anyway. Huh. You don't seem to be warlike at all. I'm sorry. Let me introduce myself. Look up. Yes. The two gilded eyes you see up here. Attached to the mandibles. That is me. Saraphel the Frost Dragon. The White Death, I believe, is what your people call me. And rightly named, too. My breath is as the winter itself. Cold and sharp as knives. Burns worse than any flame could. It burns cold. <laughs> Again, I can hear your heart beating at its own steady pace. You, my friend, have seen several battles, perhaps numerous other monsters more fearsome than I, if they exist. Please, good warrior, would you do me the honor of removing your helmet? I wish to gaze at that expression, see why you feel no fear at all. Why, perhaps it might help me sleep at night. Just knowing why this human wasn't afraid. Or perhaps you knew what you were coming into. Whose lair you were venturing into. Ah. Aren't you a handsome fellow? I didn't expect a woman to be under that suit of armor. Don't act so surprised I may be a dragon. But even I know a handsome face when I see one. Bear in mind, most humans don't reveal their faces. It's weapon first. It's to the death, beast. Your treasure is mine. Or your tyranny over this village has ended. As if I've ever terrorized a village. Do you know what that would do to me? Absolutely nothing. Granted, I'm not the only drake around here anyway. It must be one of the other more beastly variants anyway. But we're all alike to you. Still, most don't reveal their faces. Until after they're dead. It's a dear tragedy, too. I've always wanted a human to stop by. Just for a talk. And the fact it's one so... Beautiful as you. Well, I consider it a bonus. <laughs> Don't mind the teeth. I'm trying to smile. It's not natural for dragons to smile. 
but some of us attempt it. All I have here is this lake to practice it. Ooh, jeez. Well, <laughs> I'll work on the smile. Maybe it won't look so much like I'm showing off my fangs. One more to, oh gosh, it's even worse the second time. Uh, very well. I apologize. What is your name? I don't believe I asked that. Well, I consider it a noble name. Only because it's attached to a noble face. A handsome face. Well, handsome lady knight, I'm glad you stopped by. Do feel free to visit my cave more often. I don't receive very many visitors. Perhaps I'll even prepare a cattle one of these nights. Give us something to enjoy for one of our chats. Hmm. That sound. That is one of the Elder Dragons. An ancient being, perhaps older than the very kingdom you serve. An ancient being that precedes even me and my ancestors. Don't worry. I hear it frequently. It's just calling out the thunder. Perhaps challenging the heavens. <laughs> I'm sure you could relate. You did come into the cave of a beast far bigger than yourself, didn't you? Takes guts and ambition to do that. Not very many dragons, I would know, would dare attempt such a thing. And for that, I'll say this. I don't have much of treasure in this cave. This cave. But further back, well, I'll leave that up to your imagination. Does the offer tempt you more? Do you feel your hand reaching for your weapon? Your lance? Your spear? Your sword? No. And you're telling the truth. I can tell. I can always tell when they're lying. I can hear it. Very well. Before you go, it's only proper that I send you out with the proper parting gift. There. I believe you call those rings where you're from. I'm not sure what significance they have, but I see many people of great importance bear them on their hands, as well as people who hold a very close relationship with each other. Regardless, Think of it as a good gesture, from my part. And if you don't mind, perhaps you could leave something of yours here for me. A gentle reminder of your goodwill and good intention. I don't need something like gold. I've got plenty of that. But perhaps the half-cloak you wear. Yes, the cape draped over your shoulder. It does bear your insignia. Perhaps I might be able to keep that here. It'll be a good reminder next time you come by. In case I somehow don't see your face, I'll at least be able to see that. Who knows? I have lived a long time. Maybe if a descendant of yours comes by with that same insignia, they'll know that you and I got along. Maybe at some point I'll be able to get some peace. Ah, thank you. I will treasure it most dearly. And you, do treasure that ring. There. And now your banner drapes in the cave of a dragon. I'm sure not many kings can say that. Even kings who bear dragons on their banners. <laughs> Very well. Peace be to you, noble knight. As I've said before, do please return. I wish you a safe travel on your journey. 
The road ahead may be dark and dangerous. As strong as you are, if a second hand may be needed, call upon my name, Seraphel. I'd be happy to help one such as yourself. Anyway, I wish you good fortune on your road ahead. Till next time, I bid you adieu.